At CES this year, the future rolled, waved, and even folded laundry. Across the show floor in Las Vegas, robots were everywhere. Some played ping pong, others poured lattes, dealt cards, and answered questions ranging from sports scores to the meaning of life. The real surprise wasn't necessarily the machines themselves, it was that companies were running live demos, even when things moved very slowly. LG teased a smart home future with its robot Cloyd, designed to interact with families, manage schedules, toss in a load of laundry, and toast a croissant. Some humanoids are already getting real jobs. Boston Dynamics says its Atlas robot is now working inside Hyundai car factories, while chip makers like Qualcomm unveiled new platforms meant to power the next generation of physical AI. Companion robots also had a moment. Sparky, an AI companion for kids, tells stories and helps build emotional intelligence. Tombot debuted an upgraded lifelike robotic dog aimed at comforting seniors and people with dementia, now smarter and launching this summer. AI hardware showed up in unexpected forms. Razer revealed Project Motoko headphones with built-in AI, dual cameras, and advanced microphones. Wearables also got stranger. Motorola showed a concept AI pendant, while Lenovo unveiled a display that can sense bad posture. Health tech stood out too. The Y-Brush Halo toothbrush uses AI and gas sensors to analyze breath and flag more than 300 health conditions. Fibrux is a smart night guard that tracks teeth grinding and gently interrupts it in real time. And the Neurologic Longevity Mirror promises a 30-second wellness check using facial blood flow analysis. TVs had their moment as well. Micro RGB backlighting promises purer colors and brighter images, and more companies are copying Samsung's The Frame with artwork style displays. All told, CES made one thing clear, AI is no longer just software, it is showing up everywhere, sometimes awkwardly, sometimes impressingly, and increasingly in the physical world around us.